The death toll from Tuesday's building collapse in Mumbai has risen to 14 with more feared dead. Rescue efforts continue but have been hampered by the narrow pathway to the buildings. The building that collapsed was nearly 100 years old. And it's the second such tragedy in two weeks in Mumbai, which is struggling to deal with heavy monsoon rains. Around one third of Bangladesh is underwater as heavy monsoon rains hit the flood prone region. 34 people, including five children, have been killed by the floods. And across the country, close to 200,000 have been forced to leave their homes to seek shelter. The torrential monsoon rains have claimed at least 200 lives across South Asia. Taiwan has moved thousands of people to safety as the island braces for its first typhoon of the year. Typhoon Dana is expected to hit the eastern county of Ilan late tomorrow. And although it's currently categorized at the weakest level for a typhoon, authorities have issued warnings about floods and high seas. Nearly two dozen domestic flights and ferry services have also been cancelled. This Welsh town of Halleck has made a name for itself in the Guinness World Records book. That's because of this street, which is now officially the steepest street in the world. Now, pretty as it looks, you might not want to live here because based on the steepest 10 meter section of the road, the gradient is almost 38%. So that means for roughly every three meters that a person moves along the road, there's a one meter rise. Now, one resident said that he knew the street was a good contender for the title when his car slid straight down with all four tires locked. Stargazers around the world were treated to a partial lunar eclipse on Tuesday night. Lunar eclipses occur when the Earth passes between the sun and the moon, making parts of the full moon go dark. It could be seen almost all over the world except in parts of Northern America. The event coincided with 50 years since the Apollo 11 mission putting the first man on the moon.